All right. This talk is about using uh, a Raspberry Pi, in this case with a uh, Google Voice Hat, uh, Google AIY uh, project kit with a microphone and a voice hat. And we're actually going to hook it up to an Alexa service. And I tried to use all the Alexa Pi stuff. And to be honest, it was I couldn't get it to work right. So basically, I just created a script for you and it implements what is in the Amazon smart screen. They have a smart screen, smart device. One of the sample parts is to just get the AVS service running. So that's what I did. Um, if you look here, there's a, actually a readme for this called readme AVS. So basically I have a bunch of Raspberry Pi scripts in here and they're useful for uh, doing various parts about uh, configurations on the Raspberry Pi. So basically, when you want to do one of these things, you basically down the Pi OS image, you image the SD card with the Pi image, or you eject the card, then you reinsert it. If it's a Pi Zero, I had another talk where we turn turn on USB Ethernet gadget, so the Pi Zero can be plugged into a PC car, um, over USB and look like an Ethernet adapter, a device on a network. Um, in this case, it's a Raspberry Pi 3, so we're going to manually copy the scripts in this repo to the slash boot, and then we eject the card. And that way those scripts are available to us. The other way to do this is to do a git clone later. Uh, that's the way I did it on this particular machine. We boot the Pi with the new card. We SSH into Raspberry Pi dot local. Um, and then we run uh, the firewall and hostname scripts. So there's some scripts in here that will um, set yourself to a custom host name and they'll lock down SSH over Wi-Fi so you can only SSH in over hardwire connections. Um, and then in this case, I don't want to do air crack. I'm going to run the AVS smart screen script. So there are actually two scripts here. There is a smart screen voice run and a smart screen voice setup. And you run the setup script on the box while you're SSH'd in. I couldn't figure out any way to do this on the card where you image it. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. And um, Actually, you know what? Let me just show you. So this is actually the repo. And, um, you know, like I said, there's the Alexa smart screen setup script. You can actually set it up with a wake word or not. If you don't do a wake word, it'll just be a menu. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, in this case, I'm actually, because I'm in Visual Studio Code, I'm going to show you one real quick thing. I can actually connect to that machine. Oh, that was a mistake. That's going to fail. Oh, no, it's not. So because I have SSH enabled, um, Visual Studio Code will actually let you edit and run code remotely over an SSH connection, which I've shown before. In this case, I'm just going to open a folder here, and the folder is going to be Raspberry Pi. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. And we're going to say OK. And so, okay, so now I'm actually logged into the Pi um, and I can go to a terminal. So I'm actually on the box. I'll show you the, how this works. So I said here there's a Alexa Raspberry Pi smart screen run. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just going to say, so this will actually configure, in this case, because I'm using a Google AIY kit, it'll actually configure the um, the a sound RC file so that it'll use the voice hat for this if you don't have a, or a USB mic in my case I actually used a rock band mic so you can use a rock band mic with Alexa on these things um, they recommend a USB mic in the AVS documentation uh, but really it could be any mic um, and since the rock band mic's a USB mic it just works so we're gonna put that up here out of the way because I didn't plan on using that so here, to show you how this works, I can just do a ls. It's already been configured. It takes like 30, like a couple hours to build the SDK on the box. So you're not going to want to do that very often. In this case, I'm just going to do bash Alexa run. And I'm actually going to make this bigger. There we go. All right. So there's actually a menu here. So you can do commands as if you were on a smart screen typing stuff, because that's what this example is. But in this case, I enabled... Alexa wake word. So I can say, Alexa, what temperature is it? Right now, 
It's 51 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 59 degrees. There you go. Um, and I, I can also do it without the wake word. Uh, anyway, so like T. What time is it? The time is 7 a.m. And then you can quit this program. Okay. And just to show you, uh, in this case, I'm using uh, the only uh, capture device I have is the Google Voice Hat. I can actually plug in a mic, rerun the program. It will detect the mic and use the USB mic. So that's it. Um, what else? Let me think. So that's what I wanted to show here. I could do this in a terminal window. I just did. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's, um, I got another terminal window here. Okay. So in this case, I'm actually in a regular terminal window. Um, and you can, and you can see I'm sitting in the Raspberry Pi directory and home Pi, which is where this is expected. And I can do bash. Let's uh, run. And Alexa, what time is it? It's 7.02 AM. Okay. There's also a button on this that I don't have hooked up. If you run the Google demo with Google Chat, it works really well. What is the last thing? Oh, the only other thing is when you bring this thing up, sometimes uh, you'll have to reauthorize this device. And so there's a whole device registration process. That's it. I hope that's useful. Find this repo. Pull down the scripts. Follow this flow chart. You should be able to get the Alexa voice service running on your Raspberry Pi.